what's up y'all it's your boy um we out here in phoenix and uh truck a little dirty right there man we gonna get a clean stair that's me right there but it's my other trailer here so we're changing out the seven wire uh pigtail plug-in uh, box this one's plastic the one that actually cracked I don't know how it cracked, but driver told me it broke, so a little cast iron. It comes with two bolts. I mean, I can use the other bolts. So basically, excuse me. Basically, you're gonna need a half inch. And you're gonna need an extension probably because, you know, this is in the way, whatever. And you gotta get it straight up in there to get them out. So, that one's built a little bit different than this one, but it's pretty much the same thing. So, the actual pigtail uh, socket, they come with a, uh, well, they got fuses on them right there. Now, I heard they don't come with fuses, but these got fuses. I don't know how true that is, but when you're doing these things, uh, I don't know if y'all can see. Right there, there's yellow. So it tells you what color goes where. They go on the, the copper ends right there. So yellow, black, uh, blue, brown, uh, green, and red. So it's abbreviated. And then you got the white right here. So we'll put them together. Now I can't really hold the camera too much, but if you really know what you're doing, you can get this done in probably like an hour tops. Um, you will need a three eighths to get this off. Uh, three eighths wrench. Uh, I better find mine before I lose it because I got a very small one. Um, Laying down, oh, it's over here. Gotta know where your tools at, man. So you got three eighths. And then one thing about it is, when you get this off, these things might be somewhat bent, so you gotta like straighten them out while it's still on there, cause it's kinda hard to get them off. So you gotta straighten these out, then get your uh, wrench in there to spin them off. Uh, this rubber uh, gasket um, is for the uh, wiring and it goes up against there. Gotta put it in yeah, like that, flush. And once that's on, you get all your wires back on. Make sure that they match. These two right here, these two white ones go together. And um, you bolt everything back up, you're good to go. So all you need is a possible extension, half inch socket, um, three eighths wrench to do this job. And um, that's pretty much it. So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and put it on and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So we back. I haven't tightened everything down, but everything's in its uh, spot. Brown, blue, so on and so on. Um, I'm gonna put it in there, start tightening it down. So what I was saying earlier was, like these, they'll be bent up. So you gotta like bend them down so you can get them off and get them on. So really, you probably, since this is the first time I ever did it, and I always remember they said that it was already marked for you to put on. Um, no more than an hour. Somebody that really does this all the time, it probably takes them like 30 minutes to do. If anybody tells you any more than an hour, they smoking drugs. So um, I got the other one over there. Since it was cracked, it started getting calcium around the, uh, the copper. I could probably clean it up and save it for later. 
So I said, let me just put the new one on. Everything new, be done with it. Um, I have this here because on the old one, I took the little nuts off and put them in a the bag just in case I was going to reuse it. That way I don't have to hunt them down on the ground or whatever. Um, so the new ones I had in my pocket. So with that said, it only should take about 30 minutes, an hour tops. I'm going to just get down here and tighten up, put everything up, and then uh, we should be good. And there we go. We're done. Everything's on. Half inches. Gaskets. Now, when you put these on, now this is plastic compared to the cast iron. You want to make sure. Now, this is a little cast iron, but your uh, aluminum um that's a cast but anyway do not over tighten these just snug them just enough snug them just enough because you don't want to crack the housing so everything's on everything matches but uh i'll hook up to it make sure all the lights work <clears throat> and oh yeah I found that out. I was wondering where was the extra nuts. What was on the inside. But there you have it. That's how you replace your box. And your, your housing and your pigtail. Uh, seven wire connection. Now for the test. I got my uh, pre-trip button going. Turn signals going. all kinds of junk out here all the lights are working keys are on tail lights everything is good we'll check the top clearance lights and then uh we'll be all right here That's working too. I assume the other side's working also, so we'll get on around there and look at it. And if it's working, your boy followed instructions like he should have. Y'all really can't see it, but I can see it glowing through there. And with that said, sometimes you gotta get the job done yourself. You know, um, before I go, um, everything together, just the parts, was just under fifty dollars, um, plus tax, probably sixty dollars. Things like that is what keep you from sitting in long lines at the truck stops, TA, Petros loves whatever the case may be um that is a self-explanatory um item to fix it has everything marked for you to put it on like i said all you need is a, a three ace if you can get one that's a little ratchet even faster um everything goes right back to the way it's supposed to be um you may need a um extension for a half inch and a half inch uh, socket um, to get up in there on the trailer because the airlines could be in the way so it's pretty simple man you know $60 if you got 30 minutes to an hour if you've done it before then you know um, and you'll be on your way down the road you pick up these parts at utility great dane uh some truck stops got them, but they're going to be overpriced. Um, Fleet Pride, Truck Pro, things like that. So, with that said, this your boy. Just want to drop that video. We out of here.